Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome to another bullet journal setup this time for the month of June. So initially, I had wanted to make the month of June just a color-coded sort of vibe for the whole setup, but I went to my studio earlier today and I printed out some collage kits. I will link them down below for you. And if you're interested to know more about collage and how I do my collage journals, I will also link a video down below. So I decided to integrate that with all of the stationery that I currently have. I picked up some also in the studio, so I am just showing you guys all the materials I use. As always, I will try my best to link everything down below for you. So yeah, I have always like the idea of layering when it comes to creating spreads with my journals and i found it a very easy way also to create more character with my journal spreads so that is what i'm doing for the cover so actually i have thought about what my theme for june would be initially i had thought of like red and blue and it's also philippine independence day on june 12 so i was like okay i think this would work but yeah i saw this really nice um, image of a girl holding a red book so it really sparked a lot of inspiration to just get all my uh, different stationery and stickers and sort of like compile them all together and I wasn't sure about the mountain so I will end up probably removing that and I really like this Pan Am sticker that I got that has the Philippines I've been keeping this for maybe like two or three years now and I guess it's high time that I actually start using it and yeah it's a very nice touch and i tried to make my spread just have some sort of symmetry with the color with the shapes and how everything plays out a lot of you are asking like how do i manage to just put things together i think it's really a matter of perspective and seeing how everything works out and if the elements really like connect because if they don't or they have like they don't really work together i don't think that's necessary for you to like squeeze in the layout so i'm also varying the shapes there's like an oblong there's a square there is this cutout and i'm also using red and blue washi tapes i have set these aside earlier so i could use them here and i like how a lot of different areas sort of like combine and lend each other in terms of elements so there are hand-drawn elements there's a photo there's a doodle there's some graphic design going on and the keep dry sticker is also one of my favorites it's from midori so it's a really nice seal and yeah it's a very simple way to sort of decorate the first page also i used keep dry because it's also the rainy season the start of the rainy season in the philippines so i think it's going to be very important at this time also i'm using this very old washi tape this is actually the first design i ever made like three years ago so it's red and blue so i found it very fitting also for this month's theme and i never leave a space um blank so this is my last edition an airmail um stamp and yeah just adding some little elements to round up the whole area so i'm just going to put the word june on the upper left corner i like how it frames the oval sticker that way it doesn't look too obvious and too overpowering so it's just like very subtle on the upper left side so that is the cover page for you which i actually had so much fun doing Now let's flip over to the first spread so if you've watched my may video you'd know that i don't use the month layout anymore because i realized that it's not something that i end up using regularly so maybe it's best to omit that and i just decided to create a spread where i just focus on content ideas and june at a glance um, for the record, I just wanted to share that I won't be posting as much videos for this month on YouTube. Um, the reason for that is my shop is actually back up and I'm also going to share something later on in the video. A bit of news also in terms of my transition, in terms of my work. But yeah, I decided to lay off posting for the next month because I have posted so much videos in the past couple of months and weeks and let's just say in terms of um 
you know, the effort that I put out, it's not really in, let's just talk money here for a second. I just find that I'm not earning enough for me to invest in so much time and effort and hard work to do all these these videos. I like, I mean, I'm fine that they're free, but I still have other things that I really have to work on that require more time. And filming takes a lot of time away from that. So I really have to, you know, pivot a bit and work on my um current workload so yeah anyway i am using this everyday explorers clear stamp set that's ch sent she sent like a lot of new stamps and i'm so excited to play with them you'll see more videos on that in the coming weeks and yeah i decided also because initially i also wanted to highlight the theme of like airmail because it's red and blue and that's also the color of the of our philippine flag and yeah i really like that this stamp set focuses on snail mail, you know, sending stuff and special deliveries and all. So yeah, left side is content ideas and the right side, I accidentally stained the upper part with ink. So I just covered it with stickers. Stickers always save the day basically. And I'm going to just plot my area here for June at a glance. I can't believe also that we're on the last first half we're on the last month of the first half of 2020 that's kind of um i don't feel like 2020 has passed by i keep forgetting that we're still here i mean time flew so fast and it's been three months since i haven't really gotten out and we've been living in this pandemic so it's kind of a weird situation but I guess I'm at that point where I'm trying to accept the new normal and really finding a way to make it easier and also not super like stressful to worry about it and taking care of my health at all costs. So back to the spread, I am just writing and labeling my content ideas, topics, and working titles. I always like putting working titles because I would forget how to put titles on my videos. and. I've been watching a lot of videos about, you know, SEO and keywords. It's really important to have a very clear explanation on what your video is. So that's something that I've been learning to do more these days. So I don't really have a lot of ideas for this month. I probably got burnt out thinking about stuff for letter with ABC. But yeah, there will definitely be more journaling videos and tips and ideas in the coming month and months basically and for june at a glance i will not write anything yet because i have not gotten into actually planning my june yet because i've been busy the past couple of days teaching workshops and um filming and working on my webinars and also working on that secret project that i'll probably share in the next couple of minutes so the next spread i am doing um what is it I'm doing? Oh yeah, I'm doing the shop page for obvious reasons. The shop is back. I am so glad the shop is back. And for some reason, my digital shop was like banned on Instagram. I don't know why, but I'm trying my best to um, troubleshoot, troubleshoot the situation. So I have to work on that. But anyway, the Philippine shop is back and it's going to be quite hard. So I decided to just focus on shipping once a week and that i still have to figure out the logistics and everything and also i had a lot of new items that i was supposed to launch in april but of course the coronavirus happened so everything has been delayed i also had prepared a lot of workshop kits that i was going to give to my students because i was planning to hold workshops in the studio but again that didn't happen so i do have a lot of remaining inventory when i went to my studio i got a little bit overwhelmed because they're all like there and they're all just staring at you in the face i don't know if you felt that but i always feel about that when i see my stuff because my inventory has rapidly grown from you know my room to an actual stock room in the studio but anyway it's going to be a fun ride i always like thinking of new ideas and working on the shop it's not the easiest but I guess it's where I'm most trained at. I've always been a shop owner since I was 17. So that's really something that has been the core of what I do as an artist. So yeah, I mean, it, it it's, it's how things are. So I just have to get used to it. Now for my little announcement. Oh, I'm still decorating. Anyway, so 
I've given a lot of thought about the things that I share online in terms of content. Um, most of them are really free, which I really don't mind. But again, I do spend a lot of time working on these free things that I have decided to finally stop being a chicken and stop chickening out and end up um, launching my Patreon. I'm going to launch it by July. Um, I will not share that, that much information yet as of now, but yeah, it's something that I've been looking forward to. I've been planning this for like more than two years. It has never crossed my mind to do it because I always thought like maybe if I moved to another country, I could do it or you know, I keep making excuses basically. So I think I have no choice now but to really just focus on it because I realize that I really love making content. I really love sharing my ideas. And the best way that you guys can support me is by being a patron and pledging as little as $1 and you can get a lot of free things. And if you're not keen or don't have budget, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will still post regular content, but I will make sure to channel a lot of my creative energy into Patreon. My whole concept also of Patreon has been really exciting because at first I was like, oh my gosh, what tier should I make? What pledges and stuff? But I decided to make it like an art academy of sorts. I don't know if that makes sense, but I never went to art school or design school. It's always been like a frustration of mine. And because I have gained all these things and ideas and my knowledge through self-learning and just watching other people and reading books and getting educated on my own, I decide I just want to do that to everyone else. And yeah, it's it's something that I'm really excited to share. So more on that in future videos. But yeah, there are going to be quite a lot of plans that I have cooking up. Cooking up? I am cooking. I'm cooking. So the last page for this month is going to be just a recap page. As usual, I find recap pages very important, especially if you just want to, you know, highlight what were the things that worked in the month or didn't work. Honestly, I don't monitor my content as much anymore. I don't know why. Maybe it's because when my shop closed, I had a hard time like dealing with it and then all the changes started to happen. Like I moved to digital shop. I had to, you know, focus on filming and stuff. So I actually don't know if I'm still going to make bullet journal videos for the next couple of months or I will just make bullet journal videos, not necessarily for social media, but mostly for just like planning, creative planning. So let me know in the comments below what you think, what type of video, bullet journal video I should do more of. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up with a month recap and some notes. Notes are always good. I've also started to make like progress reports for my business every month. And I think it's really been helpful for me to track my progress from January to the present. And as, a, as someone who's always online, it's so easy to forget all the things that I do. And my basis is just looking at my Instagram feed or YouTube and that's not really enough. I do so much work that isn't on screen. So anyway, this is a flip through of all the finished spreads. I hope you enjoyed this month's bullet journal setup and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!